in um, to do this you need to have a standard or advanced uh, license in your uh, for your ArcGIS Pro and if you have basic it means that you know it will be read only and then you're not going to be able to function or um, create the relationships and uh, by creating the relationship uh, grass uh, we are storing an association between the fields or features in the origin table and destination table and to do that you highlight on your file geodatabase right click it and point to new and then you will see a relationship class and what this does is that it pops up these are uh, your processing tool and then we need to give the right um you know inputs and output uh, outputs so here this is our uh, origin uh, table which will be our layer this one this layer and then the destination table is going to be our standalone table so um you know the output relationship class you can change that if you want i'm not going to change that and the next thing that i'm gonna do is uh define a relationship class this will be composite uh for that matter and then uh the forward part is going to remain as it is and then the message direction is going to be forward origin to destination and then cardinality uh, you want to choose one to many and then uh the origin primary key uh, we are going to choose a global id and then here we're going to define as a, as a parent uh global id and then uh i'm going to link the help of this tool or else you can click on this question down there below then to launch the help function for the tool and then you'll know um why we have all these inputs once you're done with that make sure to click on run to put this one into effect and once that is done uh so we're good and i can perform a refresh here and you know we are set now on this side of rts pro so we are done with that process and then the next or the last uh, step that we need to do in rts pro is publishing this content and to do that or well, the main uh, task window we are going to uh, be on share make sure you are on share and then there is the on the share last uh, set of options you're going to click on the drop down arrow and then publish your web layer okay so um, once these uh, pop-up window uh, uh, comes in you're going to define your name here so I'm going to call this arrow permit uh, you know demonstration the uh, correct deployment demonstration demo okay I'm going to copy that paste it in summary and then for tasks I'm going to call it a row permit uh, ArcGIS and that's enough make sure it's a hosted feature item and then again here I'm going to define it to or to save it in my folder just managing my contents to make sure that they are um, easy to locate in just that one folder so I'm going to analyze I'm not doing anything else here all right so if you have any errors make sure to work on that so if it's uh, if it's staring as the shape field is not visible remember uh, we unchecked those fields so you want to go back there go back to field shapes and make sure that the shape field is visible and once you're done with that make sure to click save to take the changes in and you can go ahead and close out that and then analyze again okay once that is done we can um, 
do away with these warnings so they won't let uh, inhibitors from uh, publishing so you want to hit on publish and once um, this process is done uh, you know we are gonna see this hosted item in ArcGIS Pro uh, I mean in ArcGIS Online and once that process is done we might need to do uh, you know a few changes here and there in ArcGIS Online and that's what we are going to do all right so the process is done and uh, we now need to go back to ArcGIS Online and uh, refresh our instance again okay and as that uh, refreshes you realize that we have our now published a row permit deployment demo and that's what we are going to open to see a few things in there so and uh, you will realize that we have the layer invasive agricultural pest and then we have our table so we need to um, with the you know uh, we need to make sure that our attachments are enabled and to do that you see where my casa is click on that drop down and then make sure that attachments are enabled and if that's so let's go back and still verify the same for the tables and if it's not make sure to uh, enable that and you can see the attachment as it has been enabled um, successfully then go back uh, the other thing that you can do here is you know you can provide a thumbnail for your um, uh, feature item but from this point um, we can go ahead and open it in map viewer uh, yes open the map all right so once we open the map um, a few uh, things that you can do here is to uh, symbolize these items to you know let me make them feel nice so and to do all that i'm going to click on change style then i'm going to summarize based on a field uh, and then i can choose maybe a surveyed crop again this will depend on if you want to summarize and um you know summarizing is not such of a hard thing and then uh, once you choose your attribute to show I'm going to click on my options here and then I'll change these and customize it uh, and to do that I'm going to I already have um, the links for uh, you know everything that I have here but I'm going to use an image I'm going to paste that in then add that okay then increase the symbol to maybe 50 and basically this is what i'm going to do for each of you know these um layers that i need to summarize and then i hit okay and then you're going to repeat the same process for the um the other symbol that you need um you know to uh, to change and you need to you know uh, have your image a URL and um, that's what we're going to do And once you're done with that, make sure to hit OK and Darn to uh, make sure that your changes are taking effect. And um, you can see that we have uh, the items here and I can go back here and maybe change the size. That's it. So we have our items here we can change the base map and that's it 
So we can go back to save the layer. Okay, and once we're um, done with saving the layer, we need to save a web map out of these. And to save a, map, a web map, you're going to come to this option and say save. And um, we're going to call it a row permit, um, maybe deployment, demo map. I'm going to copy that. Uh, I call it a row, then maybe add a row permit solution. Then I'm going to paste that in there. So in the folder, again, I'm saving in this folder. Then you hit save. So once you're done with that, we can go back to our contents. And uh, you realize that, you know, we are continuing to have more op um, items here. But remember, we had this web map that we got when we uh, deployed the solution and we have also this web mapping application. So one thing that you can do um, and then uh, and I will demonstrate that you remember we said uh, from this option, you can see it uses crowdsourcing, it uses crowdsourcing uh, polling application. So with that knowledge, you can click on your um, web map. I'm going to open it in a new tab uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that. So if you know it's using cloud sourcing a polling application, you can come to these uh, create web app option and configure web app. And then you can search for crowdsourcing polling uh, application, but I can see it's this one. So you can use this approach um, of clicking on it and going ahead to configure it. But um, I'm going to show you uh, using this option. Now that we have the application, we are going to open the application. Okay. And uh, on this instance, you want to click on configure the application. All right, and this opens up the, um, you know, uh, the application configuration interface. And um, that's what we're going to configure here. So uh, when it opens up, um, we want to search for our map and to do that, you're going to select a web map and then uh, we can search a row here. And then there is this map that we created. You're going to select that. Okay. And once you're done with selecting that, you will see that we have our items here, uh, you know, as we would want them. So this is um, what we need and uh, make sure when, you know, as you do your configuration, keep on changing uh, on saving. And you can do a couple of things here. So, uh, and you know, you can explore this on your own. So you, uh, you have the dim term, we can change maybe the background, maybe because we're dealing with agricultural thing, we can choose that option there. Maybe body text, um, you know, you can change a lot of things. And one of the other cool things that you can do here is to, uh, you know, you can change the application theme. So maybe, and make sure that uh, it's a PNG and then you can, uh, you know, be fancy here. You can use the application logo just as we did uh, here. I would have used the Calabash Mosaic uh, logo, which is a Calabash with a name Mosaic, but you know, you can do all those things here. So, and one cool thing that I will show you here is that you can click on uh, these item here and one thing that you can do is um, is that you can click on this icon and then you can provide a review so this is the car brush mosaics doing that 
and my address is 21255 um, and then the organization is you know uh, doing something other you know as I said this hosted item is not related to any of these things but it's just for demonstrating and then comments here I'll say I had fun showing these um, uh, these uh, you know this demo in instruction I can maybe uh, send a message to you please try using it with your um, you know organization need so and then I'll say um, I'll say maybe more information required to mean that you know it can be anything then public review yes and then it's picking on today's date then the creator um, can just call it again TKM editor it's TKM and then if I have any attachments I can go ahead and add that so I hit submit once I'm done and then uh, it gives us the uh, the comments here so what is cool what is more cool than just being able to do this this is a very nice thing so I would um, encourage you to try it out and if you have any question you can just uh, let me know in the chat box below so I wish you more fun as you try it out let me know if you have anything. Bye bye.